Tesla's all new Powerwall 3 has just been launched. And in this video, we're going to take a look at all of the specs in detail and explore why you may want to consider it for your home. We'll take a detailed look at the hardware, software, installation process, and the warranty that comes with Powerwall 3. Spirit Energy were the first installer in the UK to install and commission a Tesla Powerwall 3. It's actually the fifth Powerwall 3 unit to be fitted. However, the first four were all pilot installations done by Tesla's in-house team. For Powerwall 3, Tesla have been using the tagline designed by installers for installers. They spent a great deal of time speaking to their UK partners about what we'd like to see from Powerwall 3 and how Powerwall 2 could be improved upon. Tesla's head of residential energy, Colby Hastings, actually flew over from America to speak to us about how Tesla Powerwall 2 could be improved. And as you'll see in the following video, Tesla certainly listened to our advice. Tesla Powerwall 3 comes with a 13.5 kilowatt hour battery. That 13.5 number isn't random and Tesla spent a lot of time looking at the typical energy usage of households in the UK and base their product off that data. You'll also be able to purchase additional 13.5 kilowatt hour storage units. These will be announced and released in the coming months and the idea is that they'll be much cheaper than installing a second Powerwall 3 as they won't come with all the built-in tech such as the solar inverter. They're supposed to be a plug and play style system that's very easy and cheap to install and you should be able to have up to four Tesla Powerwall 3 units on a single phase supply, and you can have three additional storage units per Powerwall. Theoretically, you could have up to 44 kilowatts of AC power output and 216 kilowatt hours of storage capacity on a single phase supply. The big benefit of Tesla Powerwall 3 is the all new industry leading built-in solar inverter. The solar inverter that's built into Tesla Powerwall 3 will be capable of anywhere between 3.68 kilowatts and 11.04 kilowatt of continuous AC output. You'll be able to set the Tesla Powerwall 3 solar inverter capacity to any of these ratings that you can see on the screen now. The other game changer with the Powerwall 3 solar inverter is that it has three MPPTs. This allows you to feed three different solar arrays into the one inverter. Almost every other hybrid inverter at this scale only has two MPPTs. The third MPPT will come in handy particularly for semi-detached houses, which often have a south, east and west facing roof space. Tesla say that the built-in solar inverter can be oversized up to 170% and that you could string up to 18.5 kilowatts worth of solar panel DC input into the 11 kilowatt inverter. Because of this whopping inverter capacity, you no longer need to worry about sizing the solar inverter to the size of the solar system. On a single phase supply, you can install up to 45 standard solar panels, which is far more than most households need. It's worth noting that Powerwall 3 can also be AC coupled as well as DC coupled, meaning that you can opt for a third party solar inverter if you'd prefer. Tesla are now using lithium ferrophosphate in the batteries instead of nickel manganese cobalt. LFP generally has a longer life cycle than NMC and is also widely considered to be more ethical and sustainable. Powerwall 3 is flood resistant up to two feet and the bottom section of the unit is laser welded to protect against water ingress in a flood. It's IP67 rated and Tesla actually recommend that the unit be installed outside or in a garage. This brings me on to my next point, which is the operating temperature. Powerwall 3 can operate between minus 20 and 50 degrees Celsius. It has an active thermal management system, which we'll come on to later. We're now going to take a look at the software that comes with Powerwall 3. Powerwall 3 uses the same Tesla app that all the other Tesla products use. It's very sleek and easy to use and provides very detailed system monitoring. It's also easy to control the Powerwall from the app and you can do everything from set up your electricity tariff timings to go off grid. Speaking of electricity tariffs, Powerwall 3 is going to be compatible with the Octopus Intelligent tariffs such as Intelligent Go and Intelligent Flux. This will allow Powerwall 3 to optimize your savings by automatically charging and discharging when it's most profitable to do so. Powerwall 3 will also work with Tesla Electric, which is on track to be released in the UK in 2025. Like Powerwall 2, Powerwall 3 will also have the Stormwatch feature. The unit will monitor your local weather stations and if it sees a storm on the horizon, will start to charge up to prepare for a potential power cut. If there is a power cut, your battery will then be full up and should keep the house running for as long as possible throughout the outage. I spoke earlier about active thermal management. Tesla have put the same industry leading cell architecture technology that is in their Model 3 and Model Y cars into the Powerwall 3. 
active thermal management will look at your forecasted energy usage for the day and the upcoming weather conditions and then precondition the battery so that it operates as efficiently as possible. Powerwall 3 comes with an all-inclusive 10-year warranty. Tesla are guaranteeing that the cells will have retained 80% capacity after 10 years and they're also opening up a UK helpline and support desk which will make troubleshooting any issues much faster and easier. Finally, I'm going to talk about the installation process. As I mentioned, Spirit Energy were the first installer in the UK to install and commission a Tesla Powerwall 3. And I'm going to share a bit about the installation process and what we learned while doing it. Ultimately, Powerwall 3 is certainly easier and quicker to install than Powerwall 2. Besides being quicker to mount, wire and commission, your overall installation time will also come down as a result of that hybrid inverter. With Powerwall 2, you needed a dedicated solar inverter, which was its own separate installation. However, that's not needed anymore unless you decide to AC couple the system. There are five cables that need to run to Powerwall 3. The first one is an AC cable between the gateway and the Powerwall. This is the main cable that transfers the power between the battery and the gateway. There are two communication cables that also need to be run. The first is a LAN cable from your router or access point. And the second is a Cat5 cable between the gateway and the power wall so that they can communicate with each other. The next cable that's required is an earth cable which runs to an external earth rod. This is required for power cut protection. Finally, the solar DC strings also run to the Powerwall 3 solar inverter from the solar panels. Tesla have designed a dolly for lifting and mounting Powerwall 3. The commissioning and setup process for Powerwall 3 is much quicker than that of Powerwall 2 which could take up to an hour. 